a decision. I'm gonna do a vlog every day now for the next month and then take it from there. I figured that people write in journals and that's really great. People write blogs, I don't really do that. And if this is something that I can do to document my life a little bit for my family and the kids as, as the years go on, I'm gonna do it. But these vlogs aren't gonna be anything special, not like I did with the travel. They're just gonna be of my life. And day-to-day -day stuff, I think I do enough interesting stuff to keep it entertaining. <clears throat> like today, for example. Today, it's a Saturday. I was gonna go mountain biking this morning, but it was pouring down with rain. But we are going through to Somerset West, because my mother, she's a, she has had an operation. And then after that, we're gonna go watch the rugby, the quarterfinals of the Super 15. Western Province versus the Chiefs. I think it's the Chiefs. So Jess is, what is that? That's what they call a micro storm. We feel really blessed to live here in Fisher Haven. It's a beautiful area, lovely mountains, and the lake here is just so pretty, especially when it's like this. It's so calm, so smooth. It's lovely to take the kayak now if it wasn't so cold. You know, no matter where I go in the world, it's, it's always so hard to beat this. It's so beautiful around here. Oh, you want to stop? Yeah. Ugh. Talk about not listening to your kids. So the real reason why we came here is because the local people here in Fisher Haven, a lot of them at least, are uh, doing this kind of beautification project here at the Slipway, where they're planting trees, cleaning up, painting, repairing some things, um, just doing it out of the out of the goodness of their heart, and, and I really admire it. They do it every Saturday, but I was late. <laughs> Lunch time. Tutorial on how to make great pizza from scratch. Eventually. Dr. Uetka, 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 it's pizza. The best. Mm. <laughs> Hurting cats. Trying to get kids into the car. Man alive. Come on, let's go. Oh. Excited. Look what I made my balloon in. Go, Springboks. It's actually meant to be you you? Know, butternut. It's actually Hold on. meant to be a butternut. Hey, don't start the car. What are you doing? <laughs> it's actually meant to be a butternut balloon, but it, it's my. Spring book balloon now. Cool. Plan of action is to drive just straight through to Cape Town. We're not stopping at Somerset West to visit my mom in hospital because I have a bit of a sore throat and she's an ICU. Straight drive through to Cape Town. Now one thing I love about South Africa is they give you the full service when you put petrol in. Windows, tires, everything. And then you just give them a tip. It's lovely. Anything longer than an hour road trip. 
We love the Kirsten Bosch Botanical Gardens. It's such a beautiful place. If you've never been here before, it's a botanical garden that represents really everything that the Feinbos has to offer. The Feinbos is a very unique vegetation, never found anywhere else in the world. It's one of the plant kingdoms, which is a pretty big thing. We love it. Unfortunately, we're not going to be going inside because we're just here to pick up the Smiths. The Smiths are some really long-term friends that we've had. Okay, so I just spoke to that guy over there, that security guard, and he says we can come in. It's no big deal. Let's go find the Smiths. They have the concerts here, Coast of Wash concerts, uh, just up over there. And the last time we were here, we watched up Monsters and Men. Fantastic. Such a beautiful scenery. I mean, so, so you're set up by the stage, and the stage backdrop is literally this. That is the stage backdrop. We love Kirsten Bosch. There the Smiths are. Look, they're there. Look, they're there. So noisy and such a beautiful gun. <laughs> I got. I got to tell the people this. Did you? Did you guys know that I have a man crush on Paul Smith? There, I've said it. I got a man crush on Paul Smith. I took his number, and he didn't call me. I didn't call him. <laughs> Bye bye family, we're off to the rugby. Hi. Yo! So here we are, we're parking in someone's garden. This is a little trick of the trade here when, uh, when watching the rugby. These people have a house here and they've got a really big garden and you pay 50 Rand, which is like two pound 50 or like four dollars. And you can just come and park here on their garden. They kind of park you in and uh, show you. It's cheap and it's very convenient because literally there is the stadium. Rugby time! Okay, now that we've parked, we're taking a little bit of a detour around to get the Smiths a Budavos roll. They've never had a Budavos roll. We're doing it. Candy sauce! I'm loving it. You gotta watch this guy. You gotta watch him, brother. You gotta watch him. Thank you very much. Cross. Yeah. Bit of a fail with the tickets. I thought they were pretty good, but they ended up being not the best tickets around. But at least we'll get to see the match. Shocker. Sorry. Like the career. I tell you, can you believe it? Just getting, just getting cut off up here. But we can see to the end. So far, top class. No, it's not. It's crap. Let's be honest. That's the better word to use. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's pants. <laughs> Ladies, what did you think of the game? What did you think of the game? 
You? Wait now, don't be scared. Hi, boy. <laughs> that game was so close. <laughs> like 29 17. Close. <laughs> what? Well, no, 39 17. <laughs> we got hammered. Bye Smiths, see you later. So we, we love the Smith family. They're like one of our favorite families. And they're staying at our holiday house in, in Onras. And they'll be there for the next few nights. But right now, head for home, it's bedtime. 